Getting around town like this from the bed of a pickup truck won't get you a ticket in Arizona, but it may get you a trip to the emergency room. A record year was uh, 30 patients who came in sitting in the back of pickup trucks with injuries uh, to the trauma center. The chief of trauma at Banner UMC says five people have been injured while riding in the bed of pickup trucks this year alone, and the injuries are often very serious. Dr. Bilal Joseph says more than half of all patients who come into Banner for injuries after riding in the bed of a truck actually get admitted to the hospital. And one in four go to the intensive care unit, staying on average four days. About 20 percent end up having an operation. I think the most severe injury we see with this is a head injury or traumatic brain injury. Uh, you know, there's no safe way to ride in the back of a pickup truck. These injuries come at a hefty price, too. Banner has data from the past eight years. 180 patients have racked up more than $9 million in hospital costs. 88% of those hurt are adults, and five people have died. And surprisingly, actually, the majority of patients who get hurt are the adults, so it's, you're not safer if you're in the back of a truck just because you're older or bigger. Some believe because of reservations and farming communities across the state, Bills to make it illegal have never been passed into law. I've been here for 10 years and the injuries come from the places you least expect them. So it's you're not safer or less at risk if you're doing it on, you know, Campbell Avenue or if you're on a reservation. I think being in the back of a pickup truck unprotected and the car rolling or moving puts you at risk uh, of serious injury. But while driving within city and county limits, Tucson Fire says you're better off riding in the cab with a seatbelt on. In the city, Driving around town when there's dozens of other cars on the road with you that you have no control over, even if you trust the person behind the wheel, there's, there, it's, just, it's a challenge to even think about how you would ride safely in a vehicle like that. Natalie Tarangoli, KGA 9, on your side.